Hey, it's Matt Sullivan, and I gave an Adobe webinar earlier today. Wanted to give you a quick overview of that uh, in case you'd be interested in the full recording. The recording is just about an hour long, couple minutes you can trim off each end for the, the marketing stuff, but the content itself, itself is somewhere around 50, 55 minutes. So what we did today was we talked about the collaboration and review features inside of Technical Communication Suite 5, focusing on the ability in both FrameMaker and RoboHelp to integrate with cloud-based services like Dropbox, et cetera, and also to produce reviews that can be that can have participants using mobile devices. That was really the, the focus of the entire deal. So we, uh, we talked about that stuff right in there, but we focused on the ability to use Dropbox as a content management storage solution and to um, be able to push your projects off onto Dropbox and then access them uh, remotely whether you're using it for yourself for a home office situation or whether you're doing that among a team. We also looked at not only creating PDF, creating tagged PDF, very important, um, but uh, taking that tagged PDF for a review of any kind and then pushing it to a service like Dropbox uh, or email or using something like the Macintosh AirDrop system in order to get it over on a mobile device. Then using the Adobe Reader uh, functionality, you can go ahead and comment bring that back across to your FrameMaker doc and then make the updates. So we do show that whole workflow inside the recording. Uh, inside of RoboHelp, we looked at how to set up not only Dropbox, but other cloud-based services like, uh, like uh, Google Drive and uh, the Microsoft system. Also, you can use in, uh, independent services. I think you can do some network stuff and you can do uh, things like Box in case you're using that for your system. Again, with the PDF and PDF for mobile, looking at that full round trip to be able to get edits from really anywhere with anybody uh, using a mobile device and then get that over onto your system. So just uh, real quick, well, we'll get, this, uh, get that stuff right in there. That's the third and fourth slides. This one's actually pretty important, the re related web links. So you can find the, the recording itself at those locations. Uh, these slides are gonna be tethered to the SlideShare presentation. And then the blog post will also have that slide share post uh, in it as well. So not sure which way you're looking at this. So looking at FrameMaker, we covered real quick the edit preferences options in order to work with Dropbox. We looked at file, Dropbox, the ability to push out to Dropbox with dependencies, very important to do that so you can retain that file structure. And also the ability to work with saving locally and then sharing without having to go out to the Dropbox. Uh, functionality itself. Once you have a PDF using save as PDF or save as review PDF, you can enable that commenting, get that out to your mobile device. I found I could use the Dropbox functionality. I could email the PDF to myself also because I'm in a Macintosh environment on the latest operating systems as of October, November, 2014, I also could use AirDrop to push that file back and forth. And that was a pretty, pretty straightforward way to do it. If I knew that I needed that doc on my mobile to walk out the door, that's a really easy way to, to get that done. Looking over at RoboHelp, we took a pass at the resource manager, the ability to add the Dropbox and other services using the add shared location. And then pretty cool, we found how you can just take a topic like this one right here, and you can drag it over into the resource manager, which of course is snapped shut for me there. Once you got that done, uh, or whether or not you do that, you can also, you can take an image and just drag that into your topic from the resource manager. You're gonna find that when you do that, it's gonna show up in the images directory or alternately looking at the project files. It's gonna show up with that little green check saying that it is up to date and using something in the resource manager. That's gonna be available to anybody else that's got those same Dropbox permissions for that same Dropbox file. So that works out really well. Uh, very similar thing with, uh, with FrameMaker. We have a review pane inside of RoboHelp and a review menu option. So you can create a PDF for review, send that out, deliver it as you need to, and then go ahead and, and uh, send that file back to your original machine using the review pane and these same buttons, same familiar buttons from FrameMaker to do your review itself. Now, if you're gonna use Dropbox to do your mobile review, what I found uh, iOS 8 on an iPhone 5S is Dropbox is going to require you to preview the file inside of Dropbox. Then once you do the preview, you're gonna to have to share that file, the little box with the arrow pointing up 
and you're going to share and then choose open with and then grab reader. So it's like a four step process, which I would imagine Dropbox is going to change pretty quick. Uh, there's no reason to have a four or a five step process to open a file directly in its native editor. And so I'd expect that one's going to get, uh, get fixed in the next month or two. So hope that helps. And I hope I've given you enough that you want to go look at that recording. If you got anything that you'd like to get in touch with me for, you can always do that at any of these locations here. You notice the Matt R. Sullivan uh, attached to pretty much everything I do. And you can always do a search on the web and find me that way too. So thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed it.